Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Lori from Art Lore. So today we're gonna get right to it. It's a 12 by 24 gallery wrap from Michaels. Got the pillow down already. It's the PPG Multi Pro uh, eggshell interior, 473110 to be exact. And I've been on Facebook, of course, diligently, um, and um, getting lots of inspiration. Um, been, I've been doing some fall colors, but um, I've been seeing people doing some really cool uh, fall colors in that candy corn Halloween candy uh, motive. And um, I'm really liking that color palette. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do one. And um, I don't remember uh, who it was, but she did email me or text me back. Facebook be me back, I'm sorry. Uh, her colors, I don't even know what her colors are, but I'm mimicking her colors and I apologize, I don't know who she is. Um, but we're going to do uh, Arteza and this is yellow um, ochre. And that is really, really pretty. I'm gonna turn you this way. And I'm just going to make sure you are in frame in this orientation. You are. And I think I'm gonna drop you down just a scant and make sure you're in focus. So we're going to start right out with this yellow. And I think it'll be really pretty. Um, I like yellow ochre. A lot of people don't really care for it, but I like it. Um, I think it pairs well, really well with navy. Um, this one here is golden nickel azel gold. And we're gonna put a blot right there. This one here is, um, hold on. Oh dear, drawing a blank. Oh, vermilion. This is vermilion and it is artist loft vermilion. Wow, could not think. I hate that when your mind just completely goes blank. Here is my dream boat, Harvest Gold. Love Harvest Gold. I know you probably get tired of me saying it, but I just can't get enough of it. Um, I thought it'd be just kind of fun to use this up. I've used this in a couple other pours. This is uh, a white, any white you choose. I added Liquitex Burnt Sienna. And then I added um, already made up um, Harvest Gold. Threw a little jigger of that in there just to give it some sparkle. Here is the Magical Australian Floetrol and the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I did three, two, one. And that looks like a lot of paint for this small canvas, but oh well. All right, we are going to go high fan cool air. And then as I get toward the, the end and I wanna shoot out some of those cells, I'm going to go on low speed, continue it with cool air.
Okay, it's definitely Halloween-ish and um, really liking the results. Wished I would have got a little more cell action going there, but for the most part, I think it's really cool. So let's do this again in the same rotation of color, but note to self and to brain, not nearly as much paint. I don't need to overdo it. There is a lot of paint going on in the center. Um, and with the end bloom, I don't want to lose it. So we just, we don't need to put a lot of paint down here. Um, that would be really spectacular if I could keep this, the end blooms on there. We shall see. All right, got just enough of this off-white um, for the other bloom. A little bit more cell activator and we are golden. Okay, a little bit of noise. looking super pretty. I'm uh, really excited about that vermilion showing up. Of course the nickel azo gold and the um, the harvest gold show up because they just do their thing. They are truly magical. So again we don't need a lot of paint but we do need a generous portion, just a pretty good portion so that we can get it off our sides. Love this nickel azel gold. It is so, so pretty. It's right up there in my favorites with harvest gold. What a fun color palette. I'm glad that I uh, reached out to the, to the artist and asked what she did. It's not exactly like hers. Uh, hers was a coaster. Um, that was really sweet of her to respond. Um, it's not uh, exact, but it is definitely in the makings, close to what she did. Oh, I just lost a stick. Let me get that before I step on it. Oh, it was my gold. Poor shame. Okay, here we go. Cell activator. A little more. There we go. Okie dokie, here we go. More noise.
that time I really got all the cells in there. That's really awesome. So uh, I may have to help these guys up and set up a little bit, but I'm going to give them a good few minutes to do their thing. And uh, let's just see what happens, okay? I'm going to fill in my little edges here and then we get to spinning. So we shall be right back. All right, we are back and look at how pretty and brilliant that is. This truly looks just like the candy corn. Um, loving this color palette. So I'm going to try and find out who the young lady was that inspired me and I'd like to thank her. So hopefully I can find her um, back on Facebook and I will put her in the description um, for my inspiration. So let's just do a small spin. See where the paint is going to take us today. So far, the paint is cooperating, which is always nice. Um, okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's give it another little spin rooney Pouring medium was made today. The sound activator was made today. Two of the colors were made today. So everything was nice and fresh. So that was, um, I always just love a fresh batch of, you know, pouring medium and everything else. I just feel like it just um, works so well together. This is really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do though, is I would like to go this direction and see if I can get a little bit of that paint off the edge there, right there. And then I'm going to measure. And I did pretty good with not putting too much paint down on the end blooms because they are staying pretty well. Uh, yes, that did come off. I have some filling in to do though. So let me clean off my spoon. We don't want any black on there. I need to scoop up some white. And just drizzle a little bit there and some right there to help that along. I may have to get some out of my can, but I am going to spin this again. Um, kind of hit the canvas there. This side looks great. This side, not so great. Um, grab that, put that right there and cover my corner as long as I'm at it. And hopefully that will all come off. And grab from there. like getting the corners and edges as quickly as possible because um, the fluid, the, I can't say it, the fluidity is the same. And then you're not putting paint that's kind of dried a little bit on your corners and your sides. And everything flows exactly the same as when you started spinning, if that makes sense. All right, so now I just want to go one more little jigger right there. A little dabble do ya. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go... I want to do it in this direction one more time. Just for fun. I'd like to see a couple little things come off the edge there. And then we're going to measure. Eh, there's not a whole lot of paint coming off, so that's a good thing. 
tells me that I didn't overdo it with my pillow. And I have my three blooms, which I'm excited about. Let's take a peek here. Ooh, it's not bad. Get rid of that bubble though. Yes, yes, yes. I get to stop right here. What a pretty show. This is lovely. Love the colors. It looks like candy corn and it looks like Halloween. So yeah, I'm um, not quite sure which way the orientation should go, if it should go that way or this way. I'm kind of liking it with this as the bottom and having it work its way up. But I suppose you could, you could do it uh, horizontal as well. So let's take you down. Let's take a peek at the end results. And we'll call it a day. All right. Big shadow there. All right, get you in focus. And there is the bloom with lots of candy corn going on there. Really pretty. There's the center bloom, the azo gold and the harvest gold really are showing their true color. So, so pretty. And then there is the top bloom. Love it. And up in the right corner, that's where I was blowing out some of the cells and that's the lacing that you get. And that, that's really pretty when you can do that. Thank you so much for letting me come into your home today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye.